In this video, I'll walk you through the process of creating beautiful cover art just like this in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the photo that I'll be using down in the video description. So combining text with photos can be a little bit tricky, so I'm going to break it down nice and simple in this video. So first things first, let's crop this image. I want to make sure that our model is perfectly centered. So I'll go ahead and get out the crop tool. And then I'm actually going to change the ratio up here. I'm going to say I want a custom ratio, and I'm just going to make this a one by one. So now we have a perfect square here. And then I'm going to change the overlay from thirds grid to diagonals. That way we have an X that we can place right at the center to make sure that our model is centered. And you can see right now that she's off center, so I'm just going to move this in. So here she would be centered, but I actually think I want this to be quite a bit closer to her face. So I'll move it about like this. You can see the X is right at the center of her nose, and I think that looks pretty good. Okay, with that place like that, I'll just press apply. And I'll zoom all the way in by pressing Command or Control-0 on my keyboard. So the next thing I want to do is add a rectangle over half of this image. So I'll just go over here to our shape tools, and I'll select the rectangle tool. Then I'll hover right at the top until I get these snapping lines. Make sure you have snapping turned on for this. Then I'll just click and drag to add our rectangle. Feel free to make this any color that you'd like over here in the color panel. Once you have that placed, we can go ahead and add our text. So I'm going to select the text tool down here, and then I'll just click and drag to start our text. And I'm just going to type in what I had on the thumbnail of the video. So I'll go ahead and type make fancy cover art. Next, we can choose our font. I'll just highlight all of this. Now, because I'm going to have the model showing through these letters, I want to make sure the letters are nice and wide. That way we can see the image more clearly. So going over to our fonts, I'm just going to scroll down and try to find one similar to this. This looks pretty good. Okay. So just pick any one that you'd like. I think I'm actually going to go with this one. All right, and that looks nice and thick. I think that'll be really good. So now that we have the font picked out, we can go ahead and resize this text. I want this text to make more of her face visible, so I'm going to center it up like this, so we're going from her forehead all the way down to her chin. Once you have it lined up, feel free to adjust the text even more by making it thinner or wider as needed. Just as long as the text doesn't look too distorted, it should be okay to do this. So if you like the placement of your text now, it's time to reveal her face underneath it. To do this, I'm going to select our model's layer, and then I'll press Command or Control J to duplicate it. I'll take this duplicate copy, and I'm going to make it a child layer to our text by hovering over the top of the text layer like this. So now you can see our model's face peeking through the text. Child layers are like magic. Okay, so with that set up, I want to give you a few tips to make your letters more readable. You can see that with all of the different colors that we have going on here, it might be a little hard to read this text. So technique number one is to darken the model's layer to make this more readable. So I'm going to go into this group and I'll select the model's layer, and then I'll go to our adjustments and I'll apply a curves adjustment. So with this curves adjustment, I'm just going to darken this. So I'll just watch that area. And you don't want to make this too obvious. I just want to darken it a little bit like this. So this already did a good job of making our text more readable, but I want to show you one more subtle way to make this more readable, and that is to add a layer effect to our text layer. So go ahead and select the text layer, and then click on the FX icon down here. 
This will bring up all of these different layer effects that we can use to make our letters more readable. And the one I want to go for, just to keep it subtle, is called Inner Glow. Go ahead and check that on. You can see with Inner Glow, you create a little bit of a glow inside of the letters. But with this, I actually want to add a little bit of darkness inside of the letters. So I'm going to change the color to black. And then I'm going to come up here and change the blend mode to multiply. So now you can see this a little bit better. It's just adding a little bit of shading to the inside of our letters. I like how the large radius looks, but I'm going to lower the opacity to make this more subtle. And you can see this is sort of creating a bit of a 3D effect, and I think that looks pretty nice. You can read the letters a lot easier now. So with our effect looking super nice, now you can add any last design details that you'd like to this image. And for me, I think that this left side looks a little bit empty, so I'm just going to add a little bit of a border over here. I'll grab the rectangle tool, and I'll just click and drag out a rectangle like this. Then I'm going to remove the fill, and change the stroke to white. And then up here in the context toolbar, I'm just going to change the stroke's width to increase it. So now we have a nice little border here. I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and centered. All right, and I think that looks pretty good. Now you know how to make beautiful cover art with this super cool text effect in Affinity Photo. Great work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.